okay, a secret came out. Maybe it came out very slowly with the Knight of Pentacles here. Interesting read. With the Ten of Swords here, I feel like you were you thoroughly examined a situation. Okay. And something came to light. Um, you got over some kind of anxiety though. Like you had a lot of overkill and worry and anxiety about something in your life. Hasn't told me exactly what yet. But you came out of it. Or you will in April. And the Knight of Pentacles here is telling me tranquility. Okay. So I guess you get to feel more relaxed, not as ambitious as he usually is. Because the moon reversed is telling me that the emotions are stabilized, especially with this guy coming through. And that stabilization brings you tranquility. So I guess it's like having, well, we have a new routine, actually, is what we have. Some kind of a new emotional routine. That's pretty clear cut. Okay, what's the bottom of the deck? The tower. Wow. Okay. So this must be describing what the Ten of Swords was. Because that's something you definitely, you mean, something was revealed at some point. But then we have the stabilization. You don't go from anxiety to stabilization and then back to the tower. Even though life seems like it sometimes here, that's not the case. Because the tower will do its job. You know, it'll completely demolish the building. Now with the Ten of Swords here, it could have been a breakup or a rejection of some sort. That's what it usually means together. But either way, it's just an end. It could have been with the Pisces, for instance. But either way, I feel like you're doing okay now. Because Knight of Pentacles is still here, and that means tranquility, especially with that moon reversed. Okay, if it's about love, let's get some love cards. Okay. Five of Cups. Okay, so for those of you it was about love, yeah, you're disappointed. Okay, Five of Cups is a disappointment in love. Especially if you have Ten of Swords. It's definitely some kind of a breakup, okay? And this says to change your focus. And it's as if you actually just say, okay. <laughs> no, it's really as if something changed your focus for you. You realize something's a blessing in disguise. Hmm, Hangman in reverse too. Two major arcana in reverse. One clarifying the other. Okay, so usually these mean blocked intuition in reverse, but here I feel like it's not. I feel like it's actually the opposite. It's like you got rid of a limiting belief, so you changed your focus. Because to me, Hangman in reverse is getting that new perspective that you were waiting for. And then you, you get stabilized, you get more tranquil. Oh yeah, it's this Knight of Pentacles here. To me, this is all a good reading, Libra. Whatever you've been dealing with, it's on the way out, so. Ooh, the sun in reverse. Okay, so yeah, you're going to have a hard time seeing the good. But this says, one, if you've lost a job, a job's around the corner, okay? But this says, again, count your blessings. It was definitely a blessing in disguise. With the moon and the sun in here, both in reverse, I'm seeing something could have been revealed, especially with the tower here. I'm not sure what it was. It could have just been, you know, something you weren't aware of, um, and it happens. Because I see, actually, with the moon here, too, and the sun, I'm seeing your intuition was high. But at the same time, you weren't seeing something. It could have been that your intuition was blocked and you didn't see something, but then your intuition is higher afterwards. But either way, this is going to lead you to the right person. And it could be this Knight of Pentacles person. But either way, the events are unanticipated. And it leads you to be more stable. <laughs> and also, you know, you end up getting stable. And yeah, there may be like a little something unanticipated, but it's actually good fortune. It's just bittersweet because of all the stuff that's happened back here, especially with the tower. I think you're going to try your focus is to be happy, but try not to be overly optimistic about things because then you come crashing down. So again, you know, not one, one you know, extreme or the other. Let's see here. Three of Swords, yeah, it was a breakup of some sort. Now, some of you, I feel like it's getting over a death. And again, it's also job loss and breakup. So there's, I mean, think of the terrible things you can go through. Apparently, that's it. But again, I'm seeing it's for the best. It was a blessing in disguise, but you may not see it right away. 
And then for those of you at the job, your job is right around the corner. This could have been an on and off again romance that kept coming around, especially if you're dealing with a Pisces. So we have two Pisces cards here plus a water card. But you're going to find the right person is what I see. All right, let's get another read for you guys. See what else is coming out for my Libras. I almost said Pisces for a second because I just mentioned it. Also, I think your, your tuition is going to be so high after having gone through a previous experience that when something else comes up that could end up being a similar experience, you're going to know it right away, okay? And you're just going to discern it. And you're going to be able to find the right person in that who is it that's trying to make the situation happen again. You're going to be able to discern it this time. And that's probably why it was a blessing in disguise. Like you had to go through that one so that you didn't have to go up through this other one that could end up being worse. But I do see some kind of a fight or an argument that lets you know, wait a second. Oh man, this dude or this woman reminds me of my last ex, you know, or that ex from six years ago or whatever it is. And that kind of lets you know, I need to get out. Thanks for showing your, your ass and let's, <laughs> let's be done with this. Okay, so let's see what else is up for Libras. Oh, wow. Six of Cups reversed. Ooh. Okay, let's see what else comes up for that, though. There's a lot of things that could be. The Emperor? Hmm. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio or any water sign. Hmm. Yeah, fire sign for sure, possibly. Knight of Wands. And you, Justice in Reverse. Okay. I feel like you're trying to be very rational or practical about something, especially regarding the, the past. And with the Knight of Wands here, I feel like you're trying to be, well, a little bit self-sufficient or independent, maybe. Like you are determined to be rational. But yeah, you may be a little too determined. Maybe about letting go of the past, for instance. Maybe there's a reason why you need to look at it. Okay, let's see what else we get. I'm going to clarify with the same deck. I don't feel like reshuffling. Ah, you could be dealing with the Cancer. Cancers are very nostalgic, so that could be it. But this is a Scorpio card. Okay, could be dealing with... So we have Leo and Aries in here. Could be dealing with a Leo. I feel like you guys are trying to control yourselves, like super control yourselves when in regards to what, how you speak or somebody else is doing this to you, especially regarding the past. You guys are trying not to talk to somebody from your past or they're not talking to you. But I feel like this is taking a lot of self-control. <laughs> I mean, look at you. You're upside down. <laughs> so you're like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. And they're both sitting on thrones. Um, so it could be you not speaking, but either way, I don't feel like you're seeing eye to eye with whomever this is, but I just have control all the way over here. Um, but yeah, you're trying to keep your mouth shut for whatever reason. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to pull the top one off. That's not for that. It's just over here somewhere. So the high priestess, yeah, she's very reserved and quiet. So she's not saying anything. <laughs> all right. Why is the night of, oh, some of you may want to get back together. Or you may want to apologize. I'm only pulling the one that came out on top. Well, it's nice to have the Three of Swords in reverse now. This could be a continuation of the first reading. Who knows? Mm. I feel like you're done reliving past hurts. You're not going to talk about it anymore. Too many. Again, I feel like if you had any anxiety that was making you want to flee, it's only temporary. It's going to go away. Okay, where'd that card go? I saw it. Oh dear, really? Okay, you're making a decision. 
I guess you realize, oh, that tower's coming. I better make a decision really quickly. I'm getting, you know, the idea that justice is not blind with the two of swords here in reverse. But the thing is, you have to communicate and you have to speak the truth. And I'm saying that because three of swords is reverse, which just go back to two of swords. Two of swords is reverse, which just go back to ace of swords. And ace of swords is speaking your truth. Like, you have to. I mean, look. Justice is even holding it. But guess what? The ace of swords isn't upright. It's in reverse. So here I have no communication or lying. So which one are you? Oops, let's turn that back around. We also have another person who's kind of on their throne as well. Hmm. You're not saying something. You may want to apologize to somebody, but either way, I feel like you're not the one talking here. If you are talking and it's like you're not really saying what you want to say or you're actually lying. And, you know, that's really depending on who you are. Hmm. I thought I would get more from these. I have a lot of Major Arcana in here. With Justice in here, I feel like your goal when going in is you want to make an apology. You want to right the wrongs. Now, if that's not the case, then it's the other way around. Somebody from your past wants to come in and offer an apology. Possibly a Cancer or a Leo or an Aries. Um, but maybe you're not willing to receive it. You're not communicating back. Or you're waiting for the message. Because Ace of Swords Reverse means waiting for the message. And in the interim, it's like you're stressed waiting for the message. But again, that it's temporary stress. So it looks like you're going to get what you want. But see here with Strength and Chariot, especially with Strength and Reverse, I'm seeing it's a gentle strength. So it's not... I'm seeing being compassionate. Somebody may be compassionate towards you over something sad in the past. I also feel like there's a visit to the past or even to the home because this could be a dad. So you could visit your home. I just see visiting the past. Or again, the past could visit you depending on which way you want to look at it. And if there was any kind of secret like in the last reading, I feel like it does come out eventually. I feel like you, you travel to go to the past. And be careful when you're traveling to go somewhere else because you could get a speeding ticket. And I don't think you would win with justice reversed. Also, I'm seeing legal documents about buying a car. Yeah, because with the Knight of Wands here, I'm seeing property that's been bought. And I have legal documents about a car. Um, so also be careful you don't like go back to your hometown and buy a car and it turns out to be a lemon. You know, I think you don't have to be when you go back to your hometown. Just in general, just be careful. Because I also feel like here with legal documents and a ticket... It could be like speeding in the rain, failure to maintain control. Uh, when I had my personal wreck, my first one, I had chariot and three of swords reversed. Okay, so I have to bring it up for you guys. My moon signs Libra, so I hope it's not for me again because I don't want to wreck a car, especially my new car. I love my new car. I'm obsessed with my new car. <laughs> but it means a wreck, no bones broken. Okay, that's just a little bit of something. I'm only bringing it up because I see that plus justice in reverse. So I don't think like tickets would go in your favor if that's the case. All right, bottom of the deck, nine of wands. What are you so cautious about? Hmm. Let's see why that's here. Oh, okay, it's behind it. You really want to protect a relationship. Or at least your idea of this relationship. You don't want to give up on it. So those of you who are coming back from a past or even from going, dealing with family, you really want this. This, I guess it's like a soul family with the high priestess in here. And with Chariot here, I feel like this is some kind of a spiritual journey. I don't know, I guess it's something you have to do for yourself. This is about career. You could be in a happy organization. You don't want to give up on that idea. But see, I also have like the Emperor and Ten of Cups and all this. This is the head of the family, which tends to be male. So again, this could be about a father. Well, I don't think I'm getting anything else. So, but just again, you know, we have a lot of trying to control oneself. But if you are applying for a job, I think you'll find your soul family. You'll get like a leadership position or, you know, you have a really good boss. And some of you, like, there's a friend you might become friends with somebody who, with whom 
you used to be romantically interested in, but they were just unfortunately out of your league. Um, and so you become platonic friends. And it may have just wisened you up. Because again, like the high priestess and the emperor aren't meant to be paired together. Okay, It would be the empress and the emperor. Now to me, high priestess is two and empress is three. So technically she's below the high priestess. So she's not, you know, she's kind of out of her league. Okay, when she tries to be with him, the four. However, um, I think she's better than the Empress, just in general. I like her a lot. Um, so you could be friends with somebody and it just brings you a lot of wisdom. Or you wise up and see this. And somebody's willing to make amends and you guys can be friends. And there's a lot of different things in there. I don't think all of that's just for one person. But I like to warn people about possible wrecks if I see it. Because if I pull those cards for myself... I'm going to tell somebody else about it, you know, because <laughs> when I was looking, at it, I was like, oh, I wonder what that's about. And I did my reading. I can't remember what I did my reading on now, but and then I looked, I was like, oh, that's what that meant. OK. But yeah, with the high priestess in here, there's a close friend that you have or that you become friends with. They have really good advice for you. Could even be a father figure who has advice for you. But either way, it's a close friend, somebody you trust. They're not going to lead you astray. But I'm seeing you might not be rational or practical or having a hard time making a decision, but they will help you make a decision. There may be somebody who's refusing to make a decision in order to keep some power. Because look at all this power that they're wanting. And that could be you. Like, I'm not going to talk to them because I need to have the power. Okay. Or they could be doing this as well. But if you're looking for a friend to talk to, I'd say Cancer, Leo, Aries, possibly Pisces. More on the Emperor Chariot side since Leo's reversed. Although then again, Leo knows how to shut their mouth apparently. So, <laughs> um, but here I feel like you're not supposed to. You're supposed to come through, um, I guess, more humble. If you're the one who's trying to keep power, for instance. But see, we have so many holding back cards. I feel like that's either what you're doing or that's what you're supposed to do. So, I mean, look how guarded you are. Or maybe a fire sign is. Let's see. What's the advice? Okay. Ah, move on. Okay. There we go. I mean, this says move on too. We have the chariot. <laughs> and we have the knight of wands. We got some moving on cards. I think you'll reunite and come back together. But it's like to restore a relationship and be platonic friends. Oh, there's the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, definitely some energy about forgiveness and apologies. I like it. And also, again, I see legal matters about property. Could be cars. Most likely cars, but anything really. Because we have that Ten of Cups, it could be a house. It could even be alimony for some people. Because with the Justice Reverse and Emperor, we could have a divorce as well. I didn't think about that. But I'm seeing it now. And somebody could be very greedy for money and possessions. And so you may just ask someone's advice, like, look... 